ahead and get into this. I am going to be talking about the La Mer the soft fluid long wear foundation uh, this has spf 20 in it if you are not familiar with this foundation i feel like it is very popular right now for two reasons a it is 110 dollars you heard me correctly this is 110 big dollars and b it is being endorsed by a lot of celebrity makeup artists so patrick ta and mary um i can't think of the other woman's last name she's kim kardashian's other makeup artist they're both endorsers of la mer and i feel like i need to make a disclaimer before we get into the review because i know the number one question i'm gonna get asked is do i think it's worth 110 dollars I don't think any foundation is worth $110. Um, I think the beauty industry is getting a little out of hand on pricing with things. Uh, and I feel like there's just there's so much hype in the beauty industry now that brands can do that. Now, La Mer does try to justify the price by saying that the um, Miracle Broth is in this foundation. And their Miracle Broth is an ingredient that's in their skincare, which is even more expensive than the foundation. Um, and so they try to say like, oh, it's going to help your skin you know, and you're going to look amazing while wearing it. Honey, for $110, I need you to take me on all-inclusive paid vacay to Bora Bora, bathe me in the Miracle Broth, and then send me home. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it, it's a lot. So, uh, quite frankly, I think I'm a lunatic for spending, I, I got this during Sephora B.I.B. Rouge, so I got a little bit of a discount on it, but honestly, I don't think the pricing for anything is justifiable anymore. It's it's getting out of hand. So continuing on, um, I do actually have a review for you guys. And I'm not going to talk about the foundation shades. The shades are quite limited in this range. You can get on Sephora and check those out. I will tell you which color I got. I got the shade Linen, number 13. Uh, it's a neutral tone. I thought it was going to be more warm, but it's actually very neutral. So in comparison, I would say it's very similar to like a matte nw20 and w25 there's not really a lot of warmth in it um and i also feel like it might be a hair dark for me here in like a month so um if you're close to my skin tone right now this might be a good option if you're a little lighter than me you'll definitely want to go lighter uh so let's go ahead and get into it i have been wearing this for four days now and uh on the first day i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of start talking about that experience wearing it on the first day so uh, i'm gonna have the clips showing you the application all that stuff while i talk so basically on the first day i decided to apply it with a beauty blender and i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i was kind of shooketh when i put it on my face because i wanted to kind of like how this foundation so badly for it being so expensive i just i immediately wanted to criticize it but as you can tell from my first kind of reaction putting it on it looked really good <laughs> um, it looks very natural yet covers which is hard to do in a foundation um that's something that i think is very interesting about this foundation is that it has coverage but it looks like skin. Um, and so I think La Mer did do a good job in that aspect of, um, you know, kind of taking to their claims. Uh, the details on it, when you read like the, the claims and all of that stuff, it says that it is a silky weightless formula, creates a beautiful natural finish and helps skin maintain balance throughout the day. It's supposed to be long wearing, natural, flexible coverage and makes pores and imperfections virtually uh, disappear. So let's talk about the, um, the, like the wear of it. Um, honestly, this is a long wearing foundation in my opinion. All four days that I have worn this, it has stayed on my skin lovely. And yesterday I went and I picked up a bulldog from the shelter and transport. I'm actually transporting it today. And I, I was working all day to get that dog cleaned up for its foster home. And I was wearing this foundation. And at the end of the night, I was exhausted. I looked at my skin in the mirror and I was like, holy crap it still looks the same so honestly not only did it last long on my skin all four days that i wore it it still looked good by the end of the night and i was like damn it like i really wanted to criticize this you know but my skin still looked good you know how at the end of the day sometimes your foundation is looking crepey it's looking you know not so fresh 
this like pretty much looked as if I had just put it on. Um, you know what I mean? And so that was something I was really shocked with. So the first day that I wore this, meaning that first clip you just saw, I wanted to go for a really natural appearance. I didn't apply any concealer. I actually just topped it with a little bit of mineral veil, added bronzer, and called it a day. I wanted to see, you know, how it was in its true form. Now on the second day, I really wanted to put it to the test with coverage and layering products on top of it and all of that good stuff. So on the second day, I actually applied it with a brush. I use the Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush, and um, I have to say, obviously, it was a little bit more full coverage upon first application, but I kind of like using the Beauty Blender with it because this foundation to me is really buildable. Uh, so second day, I really built this up, and honestly, I preferred the way that it looked more naturally, kind of how I have it today, with all the stuff on top of it. It still looked good, but I feel like that kind of took away from the foundation. Obviously, when you layer so much product on top of a foundation, that's kind of going to take away from its benefits. And um, it still lasted all day on my skin. Like I said, I went to the shelter and picked up a dog. It took me the entire day to get this dog cleaned up. And um, I literally, my foundation looked the same when I got home that night. I was so exhausted, I forgot to film the clip. But trust me when I say it looked good still. I mean, I was like, I was amazed. So now that I've shared my application experience, I kind of just want to talk about some points that are really important to me. Um, in the description, La Mer says that this foundation hydrates, energizes, and soothes the skin. Um, it has a sea source, soft velvet, ferment, and that's gross. What? Sea source, soft velvet, ferment. Softens for a flawless finish. Okay. Anyways, um, I want to talk about uh, skin types that I think this foundation would be good for. So, uh, this is, again, a really unique foundation because when you apply it, it dries so naturally on a skin that it looks like your skin, but it doesn't dry to a matte finish. It doesn't dry to a dewy finish. It's definitely like that really universal just kind of natural finish that's how it dries down to and I actually don't even really have to set it with powder but it's the weirdest thing because normally when I don't have to set foundation with powder it's because it's a really drying foundation or it's really matte this foundation is not it just kind of has that really and I hate to say this but that perfect natural finish to it. So because of that, I feel like a lot of different skin types will be able to use this foundation. Uh, honestly, I feel like the skin type it would probably benefit the least would be someone who's very oily um, because I feel like people who have extremely oily skin have problems with foundation breaking down anyways. So you might need something that's a little bit more mattifying, a little bit more heavy duty, but on me, this bad boy has been super long wearing. So, um, yeah, as far as skin types goes, I mean, it doesn't enhance dry areas on my face. It doesn't enhance forehead lines, smile lines. It really does a good job of, I get, I mean, I don't really know if it's plumping my skin like the description says, but it does do a good job of kind of blurring those things that you do not want enhanced. I also want to talk about the ingredients, and this is not something I normally do in a review, but... I came into this thinking um, this foundation probably had fragrance in it, and I still don't know for sure if it has artificial fragrance in it. I'm almost 100% positive that it does because it does have a scent to it. I would imagine that this is probably what La Mer skincare smells like, if I had to guess. I don't know. I've never tried any other La Mer products. It's a really faint kind of floral scent. I'm not crazy about it. It does slightly stick around for the day. Um, and so that is something that was really off-putting to me about this foundation. I think brands need to lay off the scents and the fragrance. I don't think fragrance should be put in foundations. Um, it's just an irritant. So um, I went ahead and I looked at the ingredients. So what's really interesting is they've got all of their like fancy stuff at the top. 
And then at the bottom is like all the stuff you really can't pronounce. So the first product in the ingredients is the Miracle Broth. And this, I'll read you what the Miracle Broth is. It says it's formulated with hand harvested sea kelp and other nutrients and minerals unlocked via a natural fermentation process. It moisturizes, regenerates, soothes, smooths, and delivers radiance. So it's hand harvested. Um, they've got people down there just scooping up the sea kelp, I guess. Sorry, I don't mean to be facetious, but that's it's kind of funny they had to put that in there. Um, and then there is uh, titanium dioxide, which I believe is the sunscreen. After you get past the fancy stuff, that's when all of the um, ingredients come in. And I was really shocked to see that a lot of these ingredients are natural. Um, so we've got seaweed, sunflower, alfalfa, sesame seed oil, um, eucalyptus oil, sweet almond seed meal, um, lime extract, what is going on, cucumber fruit extract, um, ladies thistle extract, okay. And then some stuff that's in like French too, I think. So um, a lot of that stuff is, seems to be natural ingredients, which is, um, you know, kind of reassuring, I guess, along with the price. Still don't think it should be that expensive, but whatever. Um, but as far as looking at the ingredients, I can't really tell you it what's bad and what's good. You'll have to, you know, maybe decipher that for yourself, but it kind of appears that a lot of this stuff is pretty good ingredients. Um, so let's get down to final thoughts on this. Um, this is honestly a really beautiful foundation. If I'm being totally honest, it is super pretty. Um, it, like I said, it's not enhancing my pores. It's not enhancing my lines. It has a beautiful finish to it. It's long wearing. I hate to admit it, but it's kind of like what everyone wants in a foundation. Now, do I think it is worth $110? Absolutely not. I don't. Honestly, I believe that you should get a sample of this first before you invest that type of money in it and um, see if it's, you know, anything that's even going to work for you. I think definitely at that price tag, you should be owed a sample before you um, shell out the money for it. Uh, a lot of people are going to ask me um, what some dupes are for this. I'm just going to list some down below that I think are similar. Keep in mind, they're not going to be identical to this foundation, but some that I have tried in the past and some that I have in my collection that are obviously um, less expensive. So, Long story short, I think this is going to be great for a lot of different skin types. Really natural finish. Does not enhance my pores, fine lines, long wearing. The only thing that I can critique this for really negatively um, as of now is the price and also the scent, the fragrance that is just, uh, that it's okay. It's not super overwhelming, but it's there. You know what I mean? So um, keep that in mind. If you're sensitive to fragrance, this does have a smell to it. Um, but yeah, really lovely foundation. Honestly, I guess I can see why people have been raving about it. Um, I have had subscribers comment and tell me on, uh, not sub well, followers on Instagram, I guess I should say, message me and say that their skin improved after using this foundation. So I think what I'm going to do, um, something really exciting I'm doing is I'm doing kind of like a relaunch of my blog. It's not going to be like a big deal, but I'm renaming it and redesigning it. And I feel like I'll do an update on this foundation to let you guys know if I notice um, if it's improving my skin because it's supposed to have the miracle broth in it. Uh, but several people said that it did. So, what are y'all's thoughts on this foundation? Have you tried it? How did it perform for you? Did you like it? Make a discussion down in the comments uh, below. I always love seeing how products work for certain skin types. That way I can get a better idea and um, kind of use that for information in uh, further videos. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it broke down some questions and some things you might have had regarding this foundation, regarding this super expensive foundation. Um, for now, I'm going to keep it. I don't think I'll be returning it. Uh, and yeah, like I said, uh, not too many complaints with it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.